Greetings everyone, thanks for watching this uh, session about SAP CC and user training, sales order. And uh, this one we're going to talk specifically about credit memo and debt memo. There is still the, some dependencies in order to create this uh, order type. Um, as we saw before in the previous sessions, and if you missed, please uh, I recommend you to go back and, and watch those. But there's still a need to update customer master, material master, and price master. Uh, different than the previous orders or the standard order and the free of charge, the credit memo, memo debt memo, I'm sorry, does not require a delivery process. So it's simply um, after the sales order is created or the sales order type CR and DR, the invoice or is then generated um, usually the credit debt credit memo debt memo it's used to overwrite or to correct some transactions done previously uh, either in terms of price or quantity uh, in terms of over shipment under shipment um, lower price higher price so that's how the debt and credit uh, memos are used. And um, I will do a, de a demo in SAP um, for a credit memo and also a debit memo. Here we are at the initial screen in SAP. And I will go ahead and type VA01 to create a new sales order. In this case, we'll it carried automatically here since I was uh, playing around but if you want to search if you don't know the document the order type you type the f you are gonna find for credit and um, this is the first uh, order type that came but we are looking for credit memo request so we click on find again it will go to the next uh, record with the word credit so that's not the one yet driver credit credit memo request BR Brazil no here is CR that's the credit memo request this is the standard document type and again this document type sales order or order type may change based on the settings on your organization but by default the standard order type for credit in SAP is CR. I'm going to double click on that one. Uh, this is the organization da data that we we have been using. I'm going to keep as this. We have the option for credit and debit memo to create as reference. It's not mandatory but it's advisable since in most cases the customer will tell you um, the original billing document that was sent to them if there's any discrepancy so since we have not created yet the billing document um, i'm gonna use a previous one so i'm gonna take this one and by the way this is the document flow from the sales order that i covered previously in the previous session and here we can see the additional documents created the delivery this has a warehouse management system transfer order, a goods issue, which is a accounting document type created upon the the issue of the parts from, from the inventory in the system. Then the invoice to the customer and the invoice list document, which is a, a accounting document um, for this invoice based on this invoice. So I'm gonna click on the invoice display document. I'm gonna copy this invoice number and I'll use as a reference for our credit memo. So I copied it brought me all the line items and let's say for instance that the customer said there were there were two pieces missing for 
uh, this shipment 29 pieces instead was shipped 27 pieces so we're gonna delete the other line items that we don't need and so we need to credit the customer the equivalent of two pieces we're gonna hit enter so the values were changed accordingly so in this case I'm doing a credit as a quantity variation of two pieces okay so the price all the conditions were uh, were kept the same from the original sales document and only the quantity <coughs> changed and the correspondent uh, net amount and the tax is calculated the screen the look uh, of the screen is pretty similar to the standard order as we have seen before it's slightly different just the organization of the columns here the fields uh, but it's pretty much uh, the same process same f um, buttons down here similar tabs <coughs> excuse me another detail is uh, since we are creating with reference from a billing document we really don't need um, <coughs> a PO number from the customer and uh, similar to free of charge when we try to save it will tell us that the document is not completed yet and the reason let's click on edit is exactly the other reason similar to free of charge so I'm gonna go ahead and complete data hit complete data button and um, we we have uh, these options listed here and uh, this was a quantity discrepancy I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna hit enter edit next data if there is any otherwise we'll go to the main screen and it says the document is complete we're gonna go ahead and save there we go we have here the uh, credit memo request created and uh, I just click on sales document display it brought automatically the credit memo num order number created I'm gonna hit enter and we can see here the details of the um, the document one important information here also is you want to know on the display document flow again we are able to see the original invoice linked to this credit memo request so we have the standard sales order, original order created, the delivery, the invoice, and now a credit memo request. Further, as we saw, the next process will be a the billing process for this credit memo request, which will be covered in uh, in another section about um, billing. So this was for a credit memo. Now, as I mentioned before, I will create a debt memo without a reference, and the process is, is very similar. So I'm going to hit the slash n for to overwrite this screen, and I obviously I could just go here and click create. But just to show the options, I'm going to do VA01 because we are in display and we want to go back to create. So now we want to create a debt memo. So let's write the memo request so we go straight to the one. So DR is the standard uh, order, DR order type is the standard for debit memo requests. I'm going to double click. Organization, organizational data is already pre populated. So now instead of doing by reference, I'm just going to hit enter and I will populate with the information um, directly keying directly the information here just for reference so I'll put debit 
and again this field is not required for debit and credit memo I'm just going to populate with uh, an information here material I'll take this material and say there was a debit for five pieces just a warning about the billing document date which is for today and you can you could uh, change let's say you're creating the debit memo today but this is to be built further uh, later on so you can change this date I'll keep as this and hit enter there you go so it's pre-populated already the description came out the net value I'm gonna select you can keep the cursor and the line item and simply click on item conditions it will it will bring you to the the pricing conditions for uh, this material and customer uh, relationship relation I'm just gonna go back and save again the incompleteness one way to avoid the incompleteness, the incomplete documents, if you don't want to wait and go to the two more screens, you can. I'm going to cancel. So let's say you are on this screen, you can click on Sales tab, and here's the order reason. So you can, if you, after doing this a uh, few times, you know that um, it's right here, the order reasons in the Sales tab. So you just can go there and, and select. I'm going to select. Um, quantity discrepancy, I'm going to hit enter and save now there you go, the order was completed I'm going to go to sales display and here we can see the document um, the dev memo request created <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this session and again please feel free to send me any comments, any any points you wanna um, in, need clarification or in concerns, okay? And I really appreciate your time and thank you very much. Bye bye.